to lovely, lovely audience out there and listeners. Thank you very much for joining me. You are live with me here on the Aswa Radio Network, Ivan Asaki Radio and Moonstruck TV. And this is episode 59 of my show, Susanna Medium. So thank you very much for joining me here. Now, just to show you that I am live with you here on one page, because there are many, many different pages for this network going live right now. I am just going to give a shout out to Lizzie, who is saying, please, may I have a relationship reading? And then also we have Nikki, who is asking, may I have a reading, please, love and light. So we are sending love and light back to you as well. And we also have somebody with a follower, follower anniversary, which is KJ, who is saying a reading, please. And then we have, yes, various, various people are watching and listening. So thank you very much, lovely, lovely friends out there tuning in and supporting this network and supporting my show. And if this is the first time you are here, feel free to go into my, my web, web page, website, susannamedium.com and also my social media pages and everything is Susanna, Susanna Medium. It's quite easy and straightforward to remember. So. Here we go. That is a wonderful opportunity now today to talk about something very, very interesting. And I tell you, the last two, three weeks, the energies have been really, really all over the place. So whether you have experienced the energy really uh, in a chaotic manner or you really wanted to experience silence and, and, you know, bringing yourself back to yourself, we need to know that we are all in a perfect, perfect place, what we are experiencing right now. And you see, last week, I, like I always do, I ask Spirit, you know, show me what are we going to talk about? And then nothing came. So I know that's, again, a very interesting energy coming forward. And, you know, because I'm a musician, I got a piece, which is John Cage's piece, which is called Silence, which he, which he composed in 1952. And then, you know, that piece, which lasts 40, 4 minutes and 33 seconds. And, you know, I was very curious why this spirit gave me this, this piece. Uh, and then feel free to listen to it or feel free to, to watch how it is perform, performed and what the reaction of the audience is. But at the same time, it made me think, okay, so what is a situation, what is a conversation with the piece Silence, composed in 1952 by a composer whose teachers were really revolutionary at the early 20th century um, music and composition. So by the time he, John Cage, uh, writes this music, of course, 1952 people, after the Second World War, they wanted to experience harmony, um, beauty, uh, the, the souls, you know, people were, were tired. And imagine uh, the very first concert when they go, probably they got their best clothes and then the best suit and everything, what they could find or somebody made them something to 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 go. And then they really wanted to um, enjoy and experience harmony, beautiful music, harmony, um, consonants, you know, all those beautiful sounds. But then they were given this piece. And then, of course, they were really questioning, why are we listening to this? And they were... Um, there were a lot of questions about about the piece, but you know it really made me think. I, I actually I look into why John Cage was creating the piece because, you know, he said I don't want the people to just sit there for four minutes thirty three seconds, but I want them. I'm inviting them to listen to the sounds around them throughout that time that that four minutes thirty three seconds, and that you know I really like the idea. Because we tend to be wanting, you know, wanting things to happen this way and longing for something else. But then at the same time, if we are given that opportunity to, to be, be in one spot, being in silence and being with ourselves, then there is so much which can open up for, for us. And it was quite interesting because John Cage, um, regardless of uh, being taught by very revolutionary composers, uh, and and then all the Second World War events and the noises and the sounds, but then he also looked into Buddhism and then also looked into the, the ancient Indian and traditions and all the use of sounds and use of uh, silence in music and composition. So I feel that his idea was really forward thinking because he wanted to show something to the people. Maybe they did not want to experience silence but then they were given the opportunity to to just be just be 
and reflect. And then you see the situation, that conversation made me think that in, in readings, we tend to ask the question, we tend to ask the next question, next question. And when spirit consciousness is giving us the answer, quite often it is, now maybe we need to be quiet first, we need to be still first, so that we are able to hear what is relevant to us, or what we are able to listen and notice first, before actually the next event, or the next person, or the next love, or the next job, or the next thing you are going to receive, or we can give you that. So it's quite beautiful, and then at the same time, it also made me think, who is another composer who worked with silence? And you know, there was this composer who, towards the end, another one, towards the end of his life, he lost his sense of hearing, but by the time he had known, he was, he was aware of the, the of course, in the sounds of the musical instruments, the timbre, the, the, the sound quality, the frequency of the instruments, and also human voice. And then he was the one, I'm talking about Beethoven, who composed Symphony Number no. 9. And then if you are thinking, if you, if you know the piece, in the fourth movement, he brings in the chorus. That is the very first time when we have human voice in the form of a chorus, the richness of the human voice being part of an orchestra piece. And of course, his composition was very forward thinking at his time, in his own time, talking about the, the 18th century, going into the, the early 19th century. Uh, but for him, he, he already knew silence, and then his silence was the silence from within, and from within, he was able to bring something extraordinary forward, which we are still enjoying. And of course, where we have the, the human voice, the ought to joy, really think, thinking and singing and, and, and empowering us ever since when we are listening to that, to that composition. So you see, my conversation, my invitation, when I got this idea, actually, you know, to be honest, I really love it. I really love the whole idea, how Spirit gave me the, the parallels and all the, all the ideas here, because we need to reflect. You know, sometimes we want to feel silence, but then we are busy from the outside, or we are very busy from the inside, and we are faced with the, with the, the reality that we need to be you need to be silent. So if you if your experience is that you are a very busy uh, person and you want to find your next step or you want to have an answer coming to you, the invitation is finding the peace and finding silence within yourself. And then if you feel that there is nothing around you, um, you feel very alone in the outside world, there is nobody or nothing you can really relate to, then the invitation is go within yourself again. <laughs> Go within yourself, and then from that silence, maybe your silence from within is going to reflect or mirror what you are experiencing in your outside reality. And then from that space, peace comes. So I started my little chat with you here with, with how the energies have been all over the place. And my experience was really, really energies are all over the place. In the last few days, actually last week, going very, very quiet. And then I found that, yes, sometimes we intentionally need to work with having the balance between our environment and within ourselves, what we are experiencing within ourselves. Because if things are very, very busy, if you have people who are really, really trying to get our attention and energy, then, you know, sometimes we need to be a little bit more disciplined with our own boundaries. And in that sense, we are teaching something to ourselves and at the same time teaching something for the others as well because maybe in their own world they might be really really busy lots of lots of sounds and events and everything but then us showing us that i want to experience silence in my own life because that is what i need then that might be an opening for the other person as well so feel free to listen to these two compositions or just watch how everything is is perform or just just you know play with that play with that and then if you don't have any any such practice that you enjoy being in silence then give yourself this four minute thirty three second challenge that you set your your alarm your your phone or whatever and then just you just sit quietly and um, if you want to close you know open your eyes or close your eyes whatever works for you 
and then just feel into the sounds around you and the sounds within yourself. And then you see it goes back to one of my conversations a few weeks ago when I talked to you about uh, clear audience. And you know the, the, the real real sense is that once we are present to um, our own senses, physical senses, how we are hearing the outside world and inside, then we are able to work with that sense, know what it means in our physical human reality, so that when we want to work with clear sentience, sorry, clear clear audience, when we want to work with our sense of hearing, that is easier. And uh, um, so that is an absolutely, absolutely fascinating topic. I brought it to you in an absolutely lovely little nutshell. I hope it made sense. I was very, very excited to have received this, and I feel that there is even more things coming out of that. So. Here we go. And that was our show. That was my show, Susanna Medium, here on uh, Avon Island Psychic Radio and Moose Track TV. And I tell you what, I absolutely love being here. Come to my web page and come to my social media pages and let's, you know, let's have the conversation going. So thanks for being here. I'll see you in seven days' time and uh, sending you lots of love and many, many blessings. Bye. Enjoy the silence. <laughs>